Okay, today's topic is welcome kits. A welcome kit is something that you send or give to your clients or um, in the case of the example I'm showing you is uh, participants in an online class that you offer on a regular basis um, to make them feel like they're part of the family. And uh, important things to put in your welcome kit are a message of gratitude, like thanks for joining, out, joining us, a summary of the services that you offer, the steps that they need to take to get started, your contact information, how to book an appointment with you, a calendar items such as, you know, with this class, it's we're every Thursday at 11, so add it to your calendar, uh, pay, how to pay you if, if it's something that they need to pay you for resources and other resources and tools like for for this class i would give you the link to watch the replays right uh frequently asked questions terms and conditions which is uh if you're if they're pay paying for you paying something buying something from you they need to know what the terms and conditions of that um, transaction are and then your personal branding so it's always a good idea to keep things um put your twist on it don't, you know don't just use a form that looks like everybody else's form put your own personal branding on it so in this, this case, my personal branding is the, the teal, the blue and the, and the tan colors, the fact that I like to wear funky wigs and, um, you know, and I include a picture. So this is a Pinterest pin that I'm going to uh, include in the blog post that goes along with the replay from this class. It's branded to me. Um, and when I put the pin on Pinterest, it'll, it'll have a link to the replay. So, um, wow. So I've just done double duty with a piece of marketing that I've created, a marketing piece of marketing collateral that I created. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff on this welcome kit inclusion list. And some of the things won't, won't apply to some of the things that you're doing. Like if there's no payment involved, you don't need to include the payment and you don't need to include the terms and conditions. So keep it specific to what you're doing. But the message of gratitude and the getting started step, you know, steps and your contact information, those are the most important things. So last week we created my welcome kit for marketing toolbox. And it looks like this. This was the cover of the card with um, a little circle thumb up. Welcome to marketing toolbox. Um, this was the back panel for the card, which includes instructions on how to join the meeting. So if you guys ever forget how to join the meeting, it's momgeek.com forward slash join toolbox, and it will open this Zoom meeting. It redirects to Zoom. Uh, so instructions on how to, you know, how to join the meeting. And then the inside flap of the greeting card uh, is uh, prompting you to make the signs by cutting out the circles and taping them to um, a popsicle stick. And then uh, the, the inside first panel that you, when you first open the card, the first thing you see is welcome to marketing toolbox. Uh, we gather Thursdays at 11 to learn DIY marketing skills and have fun. And then I um, give a little info on myself. I include my photo and my contact information. So, so far, am I doing everything that's properly done on the, on the list? Yeah. The checklist. Okay. Um, and then I give you instructions on how to make your signs and a link to the replay from the meeting where we made the signs. <laughs> okay. And then I tell you, how, you know, how to hire me if you want to hire me. Right. So um, uh, I also make it clear that this class is always going to be free because I have paid partnerships with the, co with the companies that um, I teach during these classes. So Canva, Wondershare, Femora, Honeybook, Shuffle by LFI and Greener still all pay me. So you don't have to pay me to take the class. So I want, so, so there's, um, that's kind of a terms of service thing. So let's go back and look at that. Um, it gave a gratitude message, a summary of my services, getting started steps. I told you multiple times how to attend the meeting. I included my contact information uh, and when the event was, and I gave you a couple more tools and resources and the terms and conditions are, this is free because I'm getting paid by somebody else. And it had my personal branding. So that card included everything I need to onboard someone into tool to, you know, to be a member of toolbox. And I'm going to use a send out cards, greeting card to do that. So it's not going to cost me very much. It'll cost me postage. So let's send that card to Susan. Uh, here is the campaign that I created for new members who 
come to Toolbox and give me their address. And I'll show you the landing page I created for that in a minute. Because I want to explain to you the whole process of welcoming somebody into your company. And then when I'm done with all this, we'll talk about how to do this for send out cards. Fair? Okay. So I'm going to open up the campaign and show you what I did. I actually made it a two card campaign. So the first card is the one that we just created or that we created last week. So there's the front of the card. Here's the inside flap, the inside center, and the inside third panel. There's the little flappy doohickey thingy. And there's the back of the card. And then the second card that goes out seven days later is a gratitude journal that I created. So it's got five days of gratitude that you can journal instructions on how to use the journal, and then um, information on how to find my podcast. So that will go out seven days later. So I'm That's gonna send gorgeous. that. Huh? That's Very gorgeous, nice. gorgeous. gorgeous. Nice. So I'm gonna send all those cards to Susan and Nicole, if you'd like the card to add your address in the chat. And there you are. Doo, doo, doo. So there it goes, out the door. Here's what the land, here's what that process looks like. So to get on my list, to receive that greeting card from me, I have a landing page for Thursday Toolbox. You go to my website, you click on join me every Thursday and you get this page. And it talks about what we do here in class, including a sample of a class that, you know, a sample video extracted from a class that we did a couple months ago. And then I talk about who the class is for and who I am and give you multiple ways to join. So when you click on this sign me up button, it takes you to my intake form and the intake form reiterates what the class is and who's it, who it's for. And then it asks for your name, your email address, your mailing address, your date of birth so that I can send you a birthday card and your word for the year so that I can send you a card with your word for the year. And then I ask to tell me what you're most interested in learning during marketing toolbox so that I know how to direct these classes. So I know what to do for these classes. And then I ask where you hear it about me. And then I offer you additional resources that I could send you for free. So, you know, like the gratitude journal and the business launch checklist, these are all things that you can request if you um, fill out the form. So if you want to go through the entire process, all, even though I have all of your addresses, um, here's that link. So it'll take you through the whole process of, Joining the, the joining the list, then you, be, you you get added to the email list so that you get the emails every week, and then I send you the welcome card. Now, most of you already received the welcome card, but um, that's the, that is the onboarding process for something that's free. So I only spend a lot of money on it, right? I don't I'm I'm not going to invest a whole lot of money in something that I'm offering for free. So you get a card, right, or a couple of cards a year from me. So that's. That's that. But if you were to come on board with me as a, as a coaching client and you handed over $1,500, then you're going to get something a little nicer, right? So keep your, your welcome kit in alignment with the, the value of the offering, right? So something free, you do, you do something low cost, something that costs a little bit more money, you do something that costs a little bit more money in the welcome kit. So if you're coming on board as a coaching client, I would send you a gift as, long, as well as a card. And what do you charge for your coaching? Or is that not something you want to talk about now? $1,500 a year for individual coaching and $99 a month for masterminds. So I am, I am like the cheapest business coach on the planet. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, for, for what you offer, you're right. <laughs> but you know what? My, I don't coach to make money. I coach to help people. And, and as much as my business coach has told me that I should charge three or four times what I charge, I don't because I don't, I'm not in this to make the money. I'm in this because I want to help people make money. Uh, and it's never been about me with, I didn't become a coach for me. I became a coach for other, other people. Um, so that's my justification for not charging more. However, if somebody wants to pay me more. I will, I won't say no. Okay. So two now, questions, yeah, go ahead. Two questions. Okay. Yes. So two questions, that form that you have on there, I'm just curious, does that go to your honey book? It does. It goes straight to my honey. Okay, book. cool. And then the other question was the, um, let's say it's a new client and you send them a welcome thing, right? I usually do that. What would, what would you say is the next touch point? Just a birthday or do you do something a few months later? In terms of sending cards? 
Yeah, or yeah, cards or a gift, like for your, you onboard a client, you send them their first kit. Do you do something after that? Like the other one I saw was really cute. You sent them like a little gratitude journal. What would you do for a client? Like you onboard a client. Well, I always grab the birthday. So they get a birthday card, they get a holiday card. Um, Throughout the year, if you're coaching with me and you do something spectacular, like you meet a big goal, you're always going to get a card from me. Um, you know, if you, if, if you have a baby, you'll get a card from me. I mean, the, the greeting cards with, with the exception of birthdays, holidays, and onboarding, the greeting cards should be rather spontaneous. I mean, you can after, um, if you're onboarding, like for you, cause you're a virtual assistant and there's Christy's also a virtual assistant. So this will, this will be, um, relevant to, to several of you. Um, so as a virtual assistant, they're hiring you to do a job. Well, three or four weeks into it, there isn't any reason why you can't send another card to them that outlines your other products and services that you offer. Mm. You know, I like that. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, as you saw, it's in my three panel card, the three, you know, the three levels of service that I offer as a coach awesome. are in that welcome card because okay. you're on, you're onboarding. They, you, you want them to know that you're, you don't just do what you tell them that you just told them that you did you want to show them the other things that you offer. Now, everybody here is also a send out cards affiliate or a referral partner. Deb, Wendy, yeah. All of you here are also send out cards affiliate or a referral partner. So you also have a second business that you offer. So you onboard them for your, like Kathy onboards her new client. She starts sending them cards there's nothing wrong with her sending them a card once or twice, you know, saying, oh, by the way, I also offer this card sending service. Right. Is that, mm -hmm. there's nothing because they're, they're already getting idea. the cards from you and the cards feel warm and fuzzy. And they like it. There's, there's no reason why one of those additional, you know, those follow-up cards could be, this is the other things, you know, this is my coaching practice that I follow, you know, that I have, but I also offer this. So there's nothing, there's nothing. So in that, if you noticed in that onboarding card I created, nowhere on there did I say that I'm a send out cards affiliate other than the fact that Greener still pays me, right? That's all I said. But later I could say, I can help you create greeting card campaigns like this one. Did they answer your question or was it too big of an answer? No, no, very good. Okay. <laughs> So this is the list of, um, this is where the, the replays for Toolbox live. I don't have all the replays here. Some of them are actually um, behind a paywall, which isn't really a paywall. Um, the ones that are behind here in this link uh, are the entire replay with all the notes. So in order to see them, you need to give me your email address and I need to know who you are. Um, but to see these, anybody can see them. And again, they've been highly edited, no personal information in anything. Okay. Um, so now we're going to show you. And what link is that? It's in the chat. Okay. Thank you. So the next thing I'm going to show you is onboarding with an app. Now, if you have GS Pro, you can use GS Pro for this. But I um, have actually been using this particular, um, it's a business card landing page maker. I've been using this program Shuffle for a lot longer than GS Pro has been around. So I didn't change my process. I just integrated it. So this is my new user welcome card. Um, and I know that I owe it to a couple of you because a couple of you have recently signed up and I haven't sent it because it was, it needed to be edited, but I have fixed it. So now it's perfect. Okay. And what I love about this card is if you guys use shuffle, you can clone it and you can use it yourself. So it says, welcome aboard. All right. It gives you all of my contact information. It says, thank you. So it gives the gratitude part of it. Again, another way to, con you know, tell you how to contact me again. And then I give you links um, to choose the right plan, a link to all the tutorials that you need to use your Send Out Cards account, a link to download the, download the handwriting font, a link to actually get to send out cards and start sending cards, and then videos on how to create and send a card, import your contacts, send a campaign, use the Android app and use the iOS app and then links to all my social media. So this does, this checks off all the marks from the checklist, right? Almost everything from that checklist is here. So this is, uh, now, you can- What exactly is this? 
This is called Shuffle by LFI. It is a landing page maker or a business card maker. It w- when they first created it, it was a business card maker. It's really similar to For My Card and um, that other one that that other one that um, a lot of network marketers use. What is it called? Ellen's not here. She knows what it's called. Is it Linktree? Not Linktree. It's uh, there's another one out there. Contact mapping, contact mapping, and oh, contact, yeah. Mapping. Yeah, contact mapping. So, um, what I like about Shuffle, and again, I've been using it for a long time, is that I have a hundred different cards. I think Christy uses Shuffle too. So I have a hundred different cards. Um, so this card is specifically for a new new um, send out cards customer. Um, here's one that I send to people to remind them to do their holiday cards, right? Gets, you know, schedule your appointment so we can set up your plan. These, this goes out to mostly people who already have accounts, but you know, in October, I'll start sending this shuffle card out to folks saying, Hey, it's time to do your holiday cards. Here's what you need to know. Um, so I love shuffle because it gives me a lot of uh, flexibility. And again, I've been using it since before GS Pro, so I just didn't change my process. Maxine, you could do the same thing with GS Pro? Not everything that I just showed you, but you can use GS Pro. um, And I can't really train GS Pro because I haven't kept up with it. I go into GS Pro and I grab links that I need, but again, set up cards is my side hustle. It's not my main gig, (laughs) so. So I'm not growing. I'm not using GS Pro the way somebody like an April Broom or a or a um, Jordan Adler would use, would use it. So if you want GS Pro out. training, go to a send out cards training. <laughs> all right, who what, Maxine had a question. What's GS Pro? GS Pro is if you pay the fourteen dollars a month to be an affiliate, you get access to this app called GS Pro. And GS Pro has all the marketing tools that you need to share send out cards with people. Okay. It would be, it, it's a conversation that we can have if you decide you want to upgrade. Maybe. To, to affiliate. Rather than being a referral partner. All right. Um, sure. Maxine, what was your question? So my question, um, this looks familiar like for my card. So if it's a new client, you just text them. You'll send them a text with this. Is that um, what that is? It depends on like, I had a new client sign up yesterday. He's a podcast host that I've known forever. And um, I finally got a chance to show him send up cards and he's all in and he he's an event that he's going to be hosting soon. And he wants to share it during the event. So we got him on boarded yesterday and I just, I didn't have his text message. I had, had his email address and his, um, his Facebook. So I just copied the link and sent it to him via Facebook. So the way you do that, the way you share it is you um, share card, and then I'm going to share it to Maxine. So you don't need to have shuffle in order to send it or to Um, receive it. No, you do not have to have shuffle in order to receive it. So I'm sending it. uh, I'm just going to grab the link because I don't have Maxine's. um, I don't have Maxine's. phone number in my system. So I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go over to chat and I'm going to grab Maxine from the chat window and I'm going to paste it into the chat window. And there, there's the private message, right? I just sent her the private message with her version of the link. So if you click on that Maxine, Uh I'm going to get a notification that you've opened it. Okay. So now see, did you guys hear that? She opened the link. So now I'm going to grab an untrackable link. So this link uh, is is not trackable. It's not it's not specifically Maxine's link. It's anybody can open this link, and I'm going to put that at everyone in the meeting. Somebody click on that and uh, and wait for the date. Do you still get notified that someone opened it? Uh huh. Someone click on it. Right, even it's untrackable. Mm-hmm. Did anybody click on it yet? I did. Oh, it didn't beep. Very nice. Well, I did it. Oh, yeah. I do too. Oh, wow, this is amazing. So um, is amazing. let me, let me, so, you, okay. Now for those of you who have shuffle, you can, when the card is open and you scroll down to the very bottom, there's this um, code. Yeah. Oh, I have, clo- I don't have cloning enabled. Hold on. 
Um, so sock new user welcome. I'm going to go and I'm going to edit the card. And I'm going to make it so that if you have a shuffle account, you can copy this card. So a cloning is enabled. So if you have a shuffle account and you want to copy this card, this is the code that you use. And you should know how to use shuffle if you, um, that's the code that you use to clone this card. Now, when you clone it, make sure you change all the links to your links and not my links, but the videos <laughs> are generic. So you don't have to do that. I mean, it has my picture in the upper corner, but you don't have to. Um, I actually downloaded the videos from Vimy from wherever I send out cards had them stored. And I put them on YouTube as um, what's the word I'm looking for. YouTube has the ability to keep a video unlisted so that people can't see it unless you give them the link. So these mm -hmm. videos are unlisted on my account, but they're, they're not, um, and nobody's ever going to see them except for the people who look at them here on this card. So you guys can go ahead and use the videos if you want to, you don't have to change them because they're already taken care of for you, for you. Yes. Is there a cost for this? It's not free. It's, um, I want to give you the best price. It's more than that now a month. It's 20 now. Yeah. Let's see. If this Do you find that you use it a lot, Candace? I use it a lot. Well, you saw how many pages I have. I mean, I it's, know. it's, I, I can use different, um, landing pages for different things. So yeah, I use a lot. Um, what is this? So basically it's like a digital business card. Is that what you're saying? It's a digital business card and so much more. It's a landing page. It's, it's, um, I mean, it collects contact information for your contacts. It, you can use it. I've, I've even used it to give away freebies. Like I have a, um, an audio ebook program that I give away to people when I, when I speak at events and I just created it as a shuffle card. So they go to the shuffle card, I give them the link to the shuffle card. They give me their contact information and then they can listen to the audio book. So it does a lot of really cool things. But th the reason why I wanted to show you that, um, I didn't want to show you that card to, to sell you shuffle. I wanted to show you that card to show you that you can onboard <laughs> in a virtual way, in a digital format, rather than a card format as well. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so it looks like $20 is the price. So it's $20 a month and then it's 50, a $50 one-time deal if you want, um, if you want um, the extra cards. So for $9.99, for, for $19.99 a month, you get 10 cards. For free, you get one. So if you just want one card, if you just want one business card, it's free. You don't have to you don't have to pay anything to have one card. Um, and you can, you can grab that one card in that link that I put in the, in the chat. All right. I am, that is what I wanted to show you. I think, was there, do you guys have any questions? Did I not cover something that needs to be covered with onboarding new clients and welcome boxes? I have a question oh. uh, in the, in the um, card that you sent, I haven't gotten my card yet. In the card that you sent us, does it have that list of what you should do on onboarding? No but I made a card panel out of that list. And guess what the next greeting card I'm gonna send out is? <laughs> Candace, are the chats um, in your recording or do we have to save the chats? Um, I do include the, the chat, but I take out personal information. So if you put in your mailing address or your email address or your phone number or anything in the chat, I will edit the chat and take all that out. I was more interested in the links. Yes, that will be you in keep the, the links. But you can save okay, the chat now you. too. You were going to do onboarding new clients for send out cards. That's that was I showed you that. Okay. So what I would do, what I do is I share the share that link with them, and then I go through a pro. You know, I do a meeting with them. I show them how to send a card. Talk to them about what plan is good for them. Help them sign up for the plan right on the spot. You know, it's always a good idea to get their credit card now. And to help them send their first cards, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you just can't, and you have to work with what the client wants to do and not necessarily what you want to do. Cause sometimes it's client focused. You sh and that, and that's always, you know, you do things on their schedule, not your schedule. Right. So y yesterday I couldn't help him send a card. Um, and he signed up later, but I gave him all the links that he needed to sign up. And then I followed up by sending him that onboarding card that had, all the videos to, um, to do oh, all the okay. things that he needed to do, to do, to do. Um, and then we went back and forth a couple of times in text me in, you know, in chat a few hours later, after his account was all set up, then I sent him that shuffle card 
that it's called shuffle cards, um, which is business card. Um, and I don't think I've heard from him since then. Actually, I know I haven't, but he's a really busy guy. He's extremely busy. So I'm thrilled to have him on the team. Um, but you know, I know that I didn't send Maxine that onboarding thing because I failed. So, you know, just give yourself grace and do it when you can. No, no, no. I will say the call that we had, because I came from another, um, you know, mailing, whatever card service company that was horrible. I met Candace. We got on a call. She started talking to me about it and she said, let's send the card. And I said, okay. And in the middle of our call, she helped me to do it. And we mailed a card to my husband, which I've never thought of doing that. And we mailed the card. And let me tell you, just that, I was like totally impressed. And when he got the card in the mail, I said, oh, look, you got mail. And I just walked away and he opens it and he's like, oh my God, you know, like he really loved it, sold him, sold me. So just her doing that, taking the time to create the card with me online and send it. And then we received it a few days later. That was that was onboarding. That was a welcome to me. Like, and then right away I said, Oh, I'm switching. And I switched from the other company back to send out cards. So she did a fabulous job. Thank you. So that is a hot <laughs> tip there. That's something I always do is you send the card to your spouse, your child, or your mother. Always. And, yep. you know, and I'll sometimes say, let's send, are you married? Let's send a card to your husband. You got kids, let's send a card to your kid. And I, and I direct that conversation. I don't say, who do you want to send a card to? I say, let's send a card to your, you know, and hopefully you've had enough time in the conversation to know whether or not they have a hair sticky up beyond the top of their wig. Um, (laughs) Whether or not they have a husband or a child or a mother. Right. But those are the three. I mean, you could send it to a father too, but husband, you know, spat wife, husband, wife, kid, mother. Those are the, those are the three that will have the most emotional impact. And let me tell you when they, you send the card to the kid, especially if the kid is like in the age of 10 age, it's a huge deal. I sent a card to my niece. I sent her a big, one of those big cards, one of the ones that are this big with some pictures on the front of it. She kept it by her bed for a year. When I saw her the year later, she still had the card by her bed. Kids love getting mail. So telling, you know, helping, helping your, your new person send a card to their kid or a kid that they love is a great way to show them what send out cards is really for, what we're really about. All right. Thank you, Maxine. I appreciate it. Anything else? Like Deb, I know I owe you the card. Actually, Deb, you could have just clicked on it. Okay. Well, next week is going to be really fun. We're doing a landing or not. We're doing marketing funnels with guests, with a guest trainer, Tammy Fink. Tammy Fink is, she wrote a book called the wow factor. And it's about giving your clients a wow experience. Uh, She has a lot of personality. She's actually a lot like me. (laughs) She's really bubbly and outgoing. and fun. Fink, F-I-N-K. Fink, F-I-N-K. And, oh, let me show you that. I changed... I changed where I put the classes, the, like the events on Facebook, because I realized that not everybody is my Facebook friend. So now the classes are on my uh, part of my page and not part of my personal profile. Um, So here's the link to next week, if you want to RSVP. And you actually have to, um, to, to RSVP going, you actually have to click the blue button here. Hold on, share screen. If you aren't, um, I've already RSVP going, so I don't see the button, but to RSVP going, you actually have to click the button that's over here, not over here. So there's a blue button right here on the page and the link I just put in the chat. So that's next week. Um, and please share this with people because uh, it's going to be fun. I'd love to have a huge audience for, for Tammy to give her... Um, to give her some special love. All right. What's a marketing funnel? A marketing funnel is, this is a marketing funnel. So this is the new send out cards, greeting card funnel, marketing funnel, right? It's got a video. It's got a a way to collect contact information. Where's the the X? I need the X. Uh, It's got a link for more information and a link to send a free card. And when you click on the learn more, 
It gives, it answers all the questions you could possibly want to have answered about send out cards. This marketing funnel is the reason why I contacted the guy who signed up yesterday, because this will make it easy for people like him to share send out cards. He's not going to do send out cards as his main gig. He's not going to send postcards. He's not going to do the postcard program. He's going to share this with his clients, his coaching clients as another tool for the coaching client to celebrate and appreciate their clients and grow their business. Right? Mm. So everybody here has access to this landing page, sockreadingcard.com forward slash whatever your idea is. Um, even if you are just a referral partner, you have access to this page and you can share it with anybody. Um, so what Tammy is going to do next week is she's just going to go over the things that we should put in our marketing funnel for our other business. Um, you know, and if you're a send out cards person and that's all you do, you're just going to be, you're just going to get bonus information on why this funnel here is so awesome. Cause this right here, uh, this funnel right here is the best thing that send out cards has ever done as a marketer. And it's who's called been, soft. What's it called? Stop at SOC greeting card.com forward slash, whatever your ID number is. Hold on. I'll put that in the chat. Thank too. you. So you just add your ID to the end of this link. And you have access to that right now, Susan. Okay. If we go to our account, account, we can find this. If we're um, on our send it's out not, account, it's not it. on the send out cards account. I don't know why, but that's oh. it right there. I don't know why okay. it's not on that page that shares all your links, you know, okay. in your account page. It's not there. But I'm I, thinking while, while we're in meetings and things like that, we can share that link with people, right? If we're talking yeah. about send out card uh -huh. and this is what I can do. Just, okay. Just put your, you know, your, the inbox chick at the end of that link. So it's sockreadingcard.com okay. forward slash the inbox share should be. Candice, yes. it is on GS Pro, isn't it? I think. It, yes, it probably yeah. is. But again, I don't You're use GS Pro. Yeah, I don't use GS Pro very yeah. often. And again, I'm not a send out cards trainer. I'm a marketing trainer. Send out cards is a tool that I use. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. but yes, I think it is on the GS Pro app. Yeah. So if you're an affiliate, you can get it from the GS Pro app, but you do not have to be an affiliate to use this link. If you're a referral partner, the link works. If you, to interrupt real quick, if you go to your actual main, your own sendoutcard.com slash app, if you're on, on the website, mm -hmm. if you just go to your your own sendout card affiliate page, uh -huh. and it goes unlimited card program at the top banner, and you click on it, it takes you to that new home landing page. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Thank you. Good. Okay, hold on. So sendoutcards.com. Yeah. Unlimited card program. Click on it and then I'll take you to that home page. There it is. So what we did was we went to sendoutcards.com. We clicked on unlimited card program and it opened up that funnel. Wow. And I'm telling yeah. you, I have been an internet marketer since 1999 and I've been with send out cards for, since 2012. And this is the best thing send out cards has done for our business yeah um, once you move your cursor off that page it'll do that pop-up real quick M move your cursor up to the top that's like you're going to work it should have popped up another wait don't leave or whatever banner pop up yeah it's not doing it right now but it, it's no. good so you, and the way that you know you're on the right page is it's going to say your name and you have your picture here so when i did the inbox check it had maxine's little picture oh cool Maxine, I'd replace your picture with your photo. Rather than having your logo, I'd put your photo there. Good point. Yep. So you go to sockreadingcard.com and you forward slash whatever your idea is, and you can share this yeah. page with people to tell them about send out cards. And it does the selling on your behalf. Gotcha. So you, okay. you don't have to do the selling. This page does the selling for you. You click learn more and it gives you everything you could possibly need to share send out cards with somebody. So a really great way, what I did yesterday when I presented to the, the um, business coach slash podcast host was I opened up the page, I clicked the learn more button and we went through this together because I was trying to show him that he could just share this page with his clients through it. Cause he has one of those, you know, the guy who just went star five, the, the two people in send out cards who just went star five. What they yeah. did was they shared send out card send out cards in their community. Well, he has a huge community. He has, he has meetings every Friday and over a hundred people show up. So, wow. so, you know, share the link. So we just went through the landing page together, the funnel together, 
And I went through everything with him, showed him everything, and he was sold. He was sold. So this will do. This is your presentation. You want to show, send out cards to somebody, take them here and go through it together and answer questions as I have them and then have them send a card. It's so important that they send a card to their spouse, their kid, or their mother. That's, and that's the extent of my, my send out cards training. <laughs> it is my side hustle, but I am a star four, which means something. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. But man, oh I mean, God. just keep it simple. And then after they sign up, send them, send them your onboarding package. You can do a greeting card or you can do the shuffle card that I shared with you, or you can do whatever you can send them a GS pro link, whatever it is that you want to do so that they have the tools that they need to send a card, to keep sending cards, to sign up and send a card. But it's always a good idea to get their credit card information in the system before you're done talking to them. If you can. Okay, uh, we are done for the day. Uh, next week is the marketing funnels class with, with Tammy Fink. And then after that, you guys can tell me what you want to learn. I get on here not to learn. I get on here to have all the laughs for my week. Oh. <laughs> you are a hoot, girl. But you I learn. Love you. you learn too, right? Oh my God, yes. do I learn. <laughs> uh, I did my, I I, B and I, I got a guy card. I'm getting ready to send it. So cool. Oh, good. I got a guy. That's fabulous. When you, when you create it, I'd love to see what it looks like. Well, I got it. I'll send you one. All right. Perfect. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Thank you. Feel better, Deb. <laughs>